good. Well, and we're all over 38 percent last year. You know, I mean, it's just a very dramatic gap there. Is that something that can actually be contagious? You know, missed shots being contagious. Is that? Is there anything to that? Definitely. I mean, that's that's one of the things like you just said. Once you know, we get one guy going, he starts hitting shots. I think like everyone just you know, thought, shoot, I want to make some shots. Um, so we just need to continue to stay confident and, and you know, take the open shots. You know, and, and pass them when we're not open. Um, you know, I think we've been we've been taking good shots. Like you said, we just hadn't been you know hitting them. And I know myself, I hadn't been shooting great. So you know, I'm looking forward to, to getting it going here soon. At times, have you seen any hesitancy? Maybe that just because they haven't been falling at times. Um. Not, not really. I think, you know, sometimes I think I, I get a little hesitant, you know, the coaches and all the guys on the team get mad at me, so that's one thing I've been working at. But for the most part, I mean, I mean, the coaches and you know, the guys on the team, we just keep telling guys, keep shooting, you know, that's what, that's what you do. So, you know, don't let that confidence go because we're not, we're not going to win if, you know, if you guys don't play your game and stay confident. First Big Ten road game, is there anything to that, anything that needs to be said? No, I'm going to the young guys. You know, just gotta stress how important every game is. You know, um, especially on the road, you can go and you want to get as many road wins as you can. Um, and the thing I kind of said was look at our game last year against them. Even freshman year when we played them, they played us really tough. So it's a really good team, and, and playing on the road in Big Ten is completely different. Illinois, you mentioned the fact that this is a team that can't afford to dig a hole last year. No. Is it just? I mean, obviously the experience and everything else that you need to. Hang a lot closer than that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we, you know, we don't want to dig ourselves a hole um, with the, you know, a bunch of guys who are playing, you know, in the Big Ten for the first time, things like that. Um, and then just, the, you know, the firepower from last year compared to this year. Because, you know, we want to make sure we get off to a good start. That'll be really important. You saw several Big Ten teams lose at home to start the Big Ten season. Does it kind of give you an extra sigh of relief that you guys escaped? And you know? Yeah, I mean, the main thing we just always stress is you got to protect home court in the Big Ten. Um, you know, so we were we were really pleased to get that win. You know, happy. You don't want to you know let any slip at your home court. What's Aubrey doing better defensively that has allowed him to? Because Coach mm -hmm. said that you know that was one of the things yeah. was keeping him holding back. You know, just he's seeing he's seeing things out there much better. Um, his communication, things like that. You know, he's starting to to be a little bit more aggressive defensively and see things coming rather than going. So he's done he's done a really good job the past few weeks in practice. As has some of the other guys. Spike, how are you feeling? Is is the break something that that helped you feel better? Yeah, definitely. I feel. You know, I think all of us helped us. You know. I saw we all feel a lot better, you know, I do especially. I, I know Coach said this, I mean, your injury is something that could bother you for the rest of the season, but, it, I mean, if you had to say percentage-wise, like, what are you at right I now? I, I don't know what percentage. I'm a lot better than, you know, before break, that's all. Over the season, you guys, a couple games went down the stretch, didn't go your way. Eastern Michigan and, and yeah. SMU too. Was the rest, was that a factor against Illinois where it was kind of the opposite, you came back down the stretch? Um. Maybe I think you know more more than that. It was just our our focus and um, you know after those early losses, we really ratcheted up the intensity in, in practice and we picked up the competition level and you know we really 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 stressed how important each possession was and I think that's something we did a good job with down the stretch in the Illinois game was valuing possessions and, and getting stops on the defensive end. Spike, I'm not sure if anyone's asked you yet, but next I mean opening up the Big Ten season, I just well your next three or four on the road. That kind of uh, and or well, the young team, a lot of first, you know, first yeah. road game, first, you know, nine the non conference mm -hmm. games and stuff. Just uh, the approach. What are you kind of preaching the guys as far as uh, keeping it together yeah. on the road? Um, you know, I mean, obviously we're just taking it one game at a time. I didn't even know that we had that many games on the road coming ahead. But um, just the most important thing that the coaches have been saying is. Um, you know, staying poised out there, um, staying calm, taking care of the ball, not turning it over. You know, that way we can limit their, you know, their their runouts in their crowd and kind of keep them out of it. You know, the best we can. Um, we just got to go out and you know play hard and continue to do what we've been doing. As you guys kind of come together right now, is I mean just the sense of comfort? Do you finally feel like you know things can maybe the ball bounce your way? Yeah, chemistry, ball bounces, game wise, everything. Yeah, we, you know our chemistry's always been really good, but I think the the Illinois game with us. Um, you know, down the stretch, you know, playing the way we did and able to pull out that win, that was, you know, a huge confidence boost for us because we had some early on not go our way. But it was good just to see the hard work from practice kind of pay off that game. What are your guys' feelings? I mean, you know, initially some people were kind of writing you guys off in the non-conference season. 
what's your guys' feelings right now opening up against Illinois? Like, you know, I mean, your things are starting to go your guys' way a little bit. Um, you know, we just continue to take it one game at a time and be ten. You know, we want to protect home court and steal as many wins as possible on the road. Just, um, obviously, they, the guys that were here last year and now, now have a lot of stuff going. But do they? Do you ever hear from them at any point? Uh, like, like Nick and Mitch and Glenn. And all yeah, that? yeah, yeah. I've heard from them, you know, quite often. Just more, just kind of chitter chat, just trying to catch up and things like that. And they'll, they'll hit me up after games, check and see how we're doing. You know, wishing me luck, things like that. And you know, I do the same for them. Okay. Any, any observations that you'd want to pass along? Yeah, no, nothing really. You know, just saying, continue to work hard, things like that. Spike, with uh, apologies if this has been asked, uh, with Purdue's big men, do you think? What I mean, coach said you had a, a big game prep practice today. What, what's your biggest plan to go against them? You know, most most important, they have you know some really good big men. But um, most important thing is just trying to um, you know limit their their post touches and try to keep them out of the paint, you know. And then our guards got to do a great job of scratching down and, and you got to keep them off the glass. Is, is zone defense something you're looking at, especially after the way you, you played it down the stretch against Illinois? Is, is, is that something um, you You know, it could be. I don't, we'll see what, you know, that's up to Coach Ray and, and the assistants. Spike, 